Drivers in West Lafayette may need to think twice before passing a bicyclist on the road. On Monday, city leaders will consider a new ordinance that would force drivers to allow at least three feet when passing a cyclist. It was already under consideration as a cyclist was killed by a hit and run driver on North 9th Street in Tippecanoe County earlier this month. While the third three feet rule isn't a law yet, we put drivers to the test in listing the help of a willing cyclist and a city police officer. State Road 26, Thursday afternoon. Bicycle Lafayette co-founder and bike czar Michael Dick pedaling up to Chauncey Hill with West Lafayette Sergeant Jason Philhauer looking on. Good. Like I've changed lanes to get around it. Most drivers, like this one, do what they can to give as much space as possible. But on a second trip up the hill, it's good so far. The car's hanging back. A driver wants to turn right onto Salisbury. The turn signal flashes, showing her intentions. That still gets right. much too close right. for comfort. It's not three feet. I've been doing this a really long time, so I'm really used to it. Um, but my main concern is for new riders and people really feeling intimidating. Dick says this can be one of the more dangerous spots around West Lafayette especially when students are in town and during rush hour. While there's another car or two that may get too close before changing lanes, most drivers are cautious and courteous, and Dick says that's typical. 95% of the people are all really good and really conservative, um, but it just takes that one person that uh, ruins your ride. A point fresh in the minds of cyclists with the death of Rodney Smith earlier this month killed after he was struck by a hit and run driver. So what does three feet look like? Well, it may be more than you think. Let's take a look from the shoulder of the cyclist. Three feet by a tape measure brings you out into the middle of the lane, which means if you're going to pass, you need to get over into the other side. To have a set three foot, a set standard would make it easier for us for enforcement because it's something that's a little more clear cut. Phil Hauer says he's also pleased by what he sees Thursday and would support passage of the ordinance by city council. I think it makes sense for bicyclists and it's good to have it on the books. It's just a simple thing um, that can happen that doesn't cost any tax dollars um, and can really just help push the awareness movement. Michael Dick says whenever a fellow bicyclist is killed, it changes the way you ride. Now, some will start riding more defensively and closer to the middle of the lane. He says it's not an attempt to be rude, it's just trying to be safe. Of course, we'll let you know what the city council votes on the proposed ordinance on Monday.